Hello all, welcome back to the channel. Today we will discuss about the most important utility of the batch is XARGS. Okay, this is the command. Okay, XR allow you to take a standard input and pass it to argument to other commands. Command one we are having. And if I do pipe and XARGS command two, so what it will do? It will take a output of this command and pass that command output to this command as a input so whatever the output of this command will be passed to this command as an input we can do this thing with many other command but there are some separate command which will not take a standard input okay the like remove command echo and ls these are the command which will not take standard input as an argument so to overcome of this situation X arc function or command help us. So I told you the syntax command one arguments command two. The output of command one is being passed to command two as a standard input. So we'll see the example like sequence five. We have already gone through this command. So it will print five one two five. Okay. But each one on different line. If I want everything to be printed in a single line, what I will do echo print but this will not work because so echo will not take as any standard input so what we will do x a r g s arg echo so the output of this command sequence 5 is being passed to echo command as a standard input and if i remove echo then also it will print the same because by default function of x r is the same as echo but if you want to see what command is being executed you can use hyphen t okay this will help you to see the command is being used now we'll see sequence 5 r a r g s hyphen t is using echo 1 2 3 4 5 and is printing as output 2 1 2 5 so this is how you can see now we'll see the ls command the problem with the ls command is the same it does not take a standard input as a parameter let's see get slash etc pass the booty we are having a file okay but this file is having delimiter colon and is hard to read okay this password file contains the information of all the user which is being used on this system but the information uh, present on this file is separated by the column there is no space and it's hard to read so to easy read this thing we will use cut hyphen d delimiter and uh, what delimiter we use? We'll use colon and uh, field one. Okay, it's not printing any field because we haven't passed the file. So what we'll do slash etc rwd. We are able to see all the user first name. But if I want to short this, so I show short. short. Using this command, we are able to see the output of password file and the first column in a short manner of alphabetical manner. Okay. So this how it work, but if I do pipe x a r g s a r g s, so what it will do? It will do by default echo, and it will print everything in a single line. Okay, there's no placeholder in an alphabetical order. Okay, now we'll see ls pipe x a r g s. Okay and iPhone capital I this will work like a placeholder so what we'll do placeholder so first we'll do ls these are the file okay so I will take everything a r g s hyphen capital I and as a placeholder every file name will be saved here and what we'll do echo print this slash root slash and the file name called close double quotes close and that's all see it's printing the full path because we know it's slash root so we will able to see full path of this so ls the output of ls is being passed to this placeholder and every time we are calling echo it placeholder getting read information from that file okay let me clear my screen now we'll create some file like uh, let me create one directory cd 
Tuesday. So as I am in my directory, if I do ls, there is no file. Okay, so we'll create file sc cube sequence hundred, and I will pass x a r g s arguments to iphone i placeholder. Placeholder I will use curly braces touch command placeholder space placeholder dot txt. So we'll get the file from one to hundred with the form of dot txt. We call Okay, now as Yahoo and P, I have made a mistake. The file name should be 9.txt. We are having, but it should be txt. So it's hard to rename. What we'll do, we have already made the sequence. So ls pipe cut iphone d, okay, delimiter, and uh, the delimiter is c dot and iphone f1. So what we'll do is get the numeric code. Now, this numeric code needs to be replaced. So, what we will do? ls cut hyphen d delimiter is colon and dot and field one and x a r g s r will pass everything to a placeholder. Okay, place here and we'll use mv placeholder dot txt to placeholder dot t e x t okay now if you do ll or ls all the file from t x t to got renamed to t e x t good so as you can see our directory is full of the file with the t x t format now i want to find and delete those file which is having dot t e x t format so find slash okay find dot hyphen name okay name should be starting with anything and one should be txt and type type should be file if i print i will get the file now i want to delete if an exec okay rm source and destination and end of this line i will run this command with the time command okay now if you see of a grid deleted within 69 seconds. Again, I will create those files and now I will use a sheet of exec. I will use xargsrm. See, it's, it just took six seconds. So, this exec is taking much time as it took delete those files in 69 seconds and is taking six seconds only so that's the use and that's much fast this xr command is so that's all about the xr command this is a very cool utility to use i think this will help you you can use anywhere where you are not able to pass as a standard input to other command you can use xr if you are having any question or inquiry please use the comment box to reach me i will be happy to help you See you next video till then. Keep learning. Bye-bye.